All right, so let's get started. Sadism, what is it? What is it? I'm gonna read you the definition, just the brief definition. It's pleasure from other people's pain. Someone that derives pleasure from other people's pain, not just from people, but from witnessing pain, the sadist gains a feeling of pleasure and power. Narcissists obviously don't have empathy. They don't all get actual pleasure from people's pains. Sometimes they like to ride the negative emotions of people's pains, but that's not the same as actual pleasure. Does that make sense? And just because they don't have empathy doesn't mean they're all sadists. But with a malignant narcissist, sadism is one of the factors. Just remember just what a malignant narcissist has uh, four major traits. One is um, the narcissistic diagnosis for NPD. And the other is antisocial personality disorder traits or an actual diagnosis with that. Another one is aggression and sadism. So we're going to talk about the sadism part. Basically, let's they enjoy... Uh, they enjoy hurting others. They enjoy it. They get pleasure from it. They get a rise from it. They feel power. They feel excited. They often sexually excited is the way people um, think of it. It's not always sexual, but mostly it is. Uh, they, um, yeah, they, they get off on it, basically, okay? They enjoy watching pain, inflicting pain, you know, uh, hurt can be emotional pain. It can be physical pain. Uh, often with narcissists, they aren't physical. They aren't all physically abusive. So it isn't always physical pain. It can be emotional pain. It can be in the silent treatment in watching you writhe from having the silent treatment, right? That's pain. They witness it. They get off on it. Not all narcissists. Okay. Just saying there are malignant narcissists in particular. Um, I would wager to guess some that are not necessarily classified as malignant would also be sadistic as well, but not not all of them have this going on, but a lot of them do. Case in point, the, the stories I'll read you, okay? Um, they fantasize about hurting other people, whether or not they do it. But the fantasies are there and they're strong fantasies that are giving them uh, satisfaction of some kind, okay? Um, they enjoy humiliating. Humiliation is a big one. A lot of times it's, it is the emotional pain and the humiliation that they get off on, like seriously get off on, not just devaluing because they're feeling angry and grumpy, but like truly getting a thrill off of humiliating someone else. Uh, aggression towards others sometimes. The way they behave when they're in the sadistic mode, so to speak, is controlling, domineering, domination. So a lot of times within, and somebody did ask me to speak about uh, the BDSM community and narcissism and sadistic narcissists. It's a problem. It's out there. Uh, if you've ever, if you've had a narcissist in your life who was into dominating sexually, you'll have experienced this because it's the control and the domination and the fact that they can cause pain, whether or not they do, gives them a huge rise. And they have no empathy. So you've got a really sick and twisted and uh, dangerous situation that, that a person is in when they're with someone like this. Okay, so um, I'm going to read you what other people said. So this person was saying that theirs was more just of a narcissist is how they saw it. They would push push me and, and push me until I reached uh, reacted and then made it out that it was my fault. So we know this as narcissists do this, right? We would fight as if it wasn't going, if it wasn't going his way, uh, he would turn off my phone because it was in his name, hide the Wi-Fi cables, block the garage so I couldn't get in, hide my keys. So all this stuff narcissists do. So then I asked them, you know, that what was, what did you experience of their, um, how did you read them as far as were they enjoying this? And sh they said, they definitely showed pleasure in causing me emotional pain when everyone believed his stories. Uh, even told me not to mess with them. So other people were saying, don't mess with them. He is one of the best friend. He has one best friend he competes with in everything and doesn't ever encourage his friend and literally says he loves seeing him lose. So there's that humiliation factor. You can hear the humiliation factor once you know they got pleasure out of it in the first part too. Um, next, next example. Okay. My last girlfriend was a sadist. She loved to inflict pain. After having a year of BDSM sex, she kicked me out, took all my stuff, kidnapped my dog, and she lied to my job. She lied to the courts to take legal action against me on false grounds and abused me further. 
there were certain point where giving pain physically wasn't enough. She wanted to inflict pain deeply and emotionally. Hey, this one's tough. My father used to terrorize me. A local park close to where we lived, I was four to eight, had a very tall, fine lookout tower. We'd go to the top. He'd pick me up face down and act like he, he was going to throw me over the edge. His laughter haunts me. My mother was down on the ground laughing too. <gasps> that one just kind of tipped me over the edge. Sorry to read it, but you know what? It is what people live through and understanding that if you are going through something and you're seeing someone sadistically enjoying your pain, get out. Get out. That is not going to change. Get away, far away. I mean, obviously she couldn't at this age, but as an adult, if you are able to just get away from these people. Um, all through my youth, we would go to carnivals in a fun house or haunted house. My father would figure out exactly where and what to step on to make the monsters, fire breathing dragons, etc., go off. He would hold me up in front of it and step by step laugh so hard as it turned to hissing while I screamed. Oh, my father cut me off, uh, letting me choose what to spank me with. Got off. He got off on letting me choose what to spank me with. I had someone ask me if if it's sadistic to jump out and, and scare someone in play. No, there is people there are people who rough house and joke around. It's sadistic when you when you see the person is so scared that they've peed themselves and you're enjoying it. It's sadistic. It may not be the nicest way of playing with someone, right? And maybe something that like only certain people, there are people who like that, who like, ha ha ha, ha you know, you scared me, that kind of thing. Um, but to do that to someone who is feeling terrorized and enjoying it or continuing to do it to a person that you know is terrorized, that's when you cross the line into sadistic from something that might be, you know, I don't even know what you call that kind of play to sadism, right? It's it's crossing that line when you see someone's pain and enjoying it. A lot of more covert people who are narcissistic will not let it show that they're getting off in other ways because that's wrong. And it's usually, sometimes it's in finding the porn that they watch, in finding um, the types of things that they're sexually aroused by that they may be hiding that you see where that you start to see the sadistic nature of in the past few months, my husband has changed so much since he has financially recovered from his past debt and gained significant amount of money. He completely turned out himself and became extremely cruel. He started physically abusing, hitting, kicking. He has never been this way before. Also sexual habits change. He is hitting, pinching, grabbing me in a way that leaves huge dark bruises. My back is full of bite marks. He tries to choke as well. <sighs> uh, the change in him is very disturbing. And every day he comes up with something new. I see it in him. He loves it when I'm in pain. Hopefully I will be able to leave in a few months. My advice was for them to please report the physical abuse and do their best to get out of that situation like now because that kind of behavior escalates. And especially if there's a change, he could be, who knows? The man could be on drugs. He could be um, completely riding his ego high from whatever it is that flipped that personality into complete overt, terrible uh, abuser mode, right? So uh, get out if you can. If you're in a situation like that, report this as abuse. Anything that leaves a mark can be documented, right? All right. Um, and remember that it isn't consent when you're being coerced, you're being threatened, you're being intimidated or manipulated, right? Okay. So, watching me while he held a pillow up in bed, pushing me into traffic, rejecting my affection and choosing his golden child daughter instead, dangling our house keys in front of my face and snatching it away when I reached for them, using his younger daughter after our breakup to send messages from their holiday destination with his new supply. And I am gathering from all of this, all with a smile or a smug look on his face of absolute pleasure and enjoyment. Um, I'm assuming because the topic was this and that is what we're talking about, <laughs> all right. Yes, a real prince is what someone is saying. Okay. All right, here's a doozy. Masturbating while I was in labor, putting the baby car seat outside the car under the exhaust pipe and laughing when I ran up screaming to rescue her. 
putting blankets over the newborn's face and laughing when I run up to save the baby, then says, if it dies, I'll make a new one. Yeah, that's beyond. That's that's realm. That is, um, I am so hoping this person got away since this is absolute abuse. Throwing, uh, I'm not even going to read the rest of that because it's too, I'm not going to read that. I'm, not, I'm actually just not going to read half of this because I can't. Okay. It's too, it's too dark. Um, driving too close to cyclists or a runner on the side of the road. So they have to jump out of the way and laughing about it. There's a good one, right? Uh, watching me vomit from pregnancy and rubbing his crotch with a smug, satisfied grin. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is a seriously disturbed, sadistic person that this is, is being described here. Laughing at news reports of natural disasters. Oh, yeah, I'm shocked. I can't really find words to express how angry I became. Yeah, no kidding. All right, that's all I have for those. That's a doozy to end with, but there's there's a sadist for you. There's one that is sociopathic, you're right, and it is not, it is yeah, beyond what a lot of people experience. Yeah, okay. That is not your everyday narcissist. It is not. It is not. And, you know, a lot of, like I said, not all narcissists are sadistic. A malignant narcissist will be sadistic. These are some of the things that go on in their heads. Some of the things that go on within the relationships. And that's all I have for, for other people's stories. Um, I can tell you that in the, in the, in your waking, walking around the town life, you may not even notice walking around in life type of, you know, just everyday stuff with them, you may not even notice. It's, it comes out, like somebody asked if they can hide it. Yes, they can hide it. They can hide it pretty darn well. They oftentimes only will expose this side once they really trust someone enough to know that they have got that person hooked, right? They've got that person. That person isn't going to run away and leave them. They've pretty much made it. Usually, the, the more empathic we are, the, more le the less judging we are of people. Hello, that's me, right? you end up with people telling you stuff that they wouldn't tell other people. If you're one of those people, they might, they might let you know if you're, if you're not, if you're a more cautious and you know, they may not even let you know. So, so, so you may not even know what is malignant. Malignant narcissist is a narcissist with four distinct things going on. One is they have narcissistic personality disorder diagnosis or could, would qualify. So, um, so the, the, the diagnostic criteria is de delusions of grandeur, no empathy, belief in superiority, take advantage of others for their gain, envy, uh, need for high need for attention, intense self-importance, entitlement, and arrogant behavior. That's part of the diagnostic criteria. It's not all of it. And it's not, uh, I did not write that down from the diagnostic. It's like an overview. Okay. Combined with antisocial personality disorder, which is disdain for authority, patterns of deceit, reckless, impulsive, uh, uh, risky behavior, no remorse, general hostilities, aggressive, irritable, um, irresponsible, arrogant, disrespectful behavior. Okay. Combined with aggression. Do we need to explain aggression? just a little bit. We know what physical aggression is. It also includes passive aggressive and it also includes emotionally aggressive and silent treatment. Okay. And sadism. And that's what we're talking about today. So sadism, we just described it all, but let's just go over it real quick. So it's all combined with what a malignant narcissist is, enjoys hurting others, uh, enjoys inflicting pain, enjoys watching pain, sexual excitement from seeing or witnessing or inflicting pain, sometimes receiving pain, fantasies about nothing about, sorry, so fantasies about hurting others, uh, even if they don't go do so, wants to hurt others when they're angry, enjoys humiliating, aggression towards others, which also is in the aggressive stuff, and behaves in a controlling, domineering, uh, or um, domin a dominant way toward others to an extreme, okay? So that's a malignant narcissist. It's all four of those things. Don't have to have every trait, of course. All four of those things with a majority of the traits going on. Yeah, nice. And you know what? They can be covert and you cannot even know they are one. So take all that and throw in covert behaviors so that you can't see it. If anyone needs help, head over to queenbeing.com for all kinds of information, links, 
resources on recovery and understanding and all of that, discovering, understanding, overcoming narcissistic abuse. If you need help with coaching, please head over there as well. The link is down below in the main comments. If you need group coaching, the link's all down below for any of those things. If anyone needs it, um, 